Muslims and Jews in the Middle East. But Friday night at the Blue Horizon venue, one of the fights on the card is the compelling relationship of a young Muslim making his pro boxing debut with the Jewish trainer in his corner. Derek Gunn shares their story. One is from Nazareth, the other from Tel Aviv. Rani Tal serves in the Israeli Defense Forces and is Jewish. 21-year-old Ahmad Tuba is Muslim. Their worlds divided by hatred and conflict, yet boxing has brought these two together. I focus on the, the main cause that I'm here. I want to do boxing, and it doesn't matter for me if he's Hindu, Muslim, Christian, Jewish, whatever. He's a great person. Back home, two days a week, Ahmad takes a two-and-a-half-hour bus ride to train with Rani. Their families and close friends have been supportive of their friendship and working arrangement, but many others have not. Outside of the circle of friends and family, they gave him a hard, hard time. They will expel him from the uh, amateur boxing uh, uh, organization in Israel, and he won't be allowed ever to open a gym as a trainer or to work together with them in the future. They have known each other for a little more than five years and have worked together as teacher and pupil for a little more than two. Never did either one of them think this was possible. No, not even in my dreams. You know, when I think about it today, I did something people say even foolish because I took a chance. People told me about maybe you forgot about your people. You forgot about the terrorist activity for years. You forgot about what happened just months ago in, in Gaza and two years, two years ago versus the Hezbollah in Lebanon. Shiv, touch any. They are hoping the present will build a better future. They have seen the historic change in America and hold firm to the belief that change in their homelands is inevitable. It's almost been two years that we are working together, and I'm proud to say that people changed. You know, I looked at uh, what happened with Obama over here. People changed. You changed. And the same can happen in Israel. You know, maybe 10, 15, maybe five years from now, we'll be living one day beside the other as friends. I don't mind to be his neighbor in Nazareth, and I don't mind if he will come to be my neighbor in Tel Aviv. But this relationship is about more than just a boxer and his trainer. It's about forming a unified front. It's about being ambassadors of peace. Even at uh, the beginning, it was very hard. I can tell you now that I feel like a messenger of peace, that people can see that peace, forget about the governments. I'm talking about the people. It's, it has to start from below. If the people start to connect, then it would be much more easier for the politician to shake hands with the other side and walk with real beliefs about peace. Although he feels like an ambas ambassador of peace, he feels like it's going to take a long, long time, and for sure not in the future years. Peace will come and eventually we live alongside each other and uh, have a normal a relationship, Jewish people and Muslim. They have dared to cross the boundaries of war to show that the two sides can coexist. And all that they ask of their fellow countrymen is... Just give it a chance and you see, you discover it's the same as you, breathing the same air, eating the same food, with the same dreams. Derek Gunn, Comcast, Sportsnet. Rain and Tall also told Derek that because of the success that he's had with Ahmad Tuba, five other young Muslims, including a girl, now make weekly trips to his gym in Tel Aviv, Israel, to train. And that if someone could come shoot video in his gym of what's going on, the sights of the friendships being made would be truly amazing. Coming up, we'll have 